Hello everyone, today I am excited to paint three colorful vegetables. This tutorial is perfect for beginner. Uh, I'm using Procreate app, uh, so I'm ready to paint, let's go! The first vegetable is pepper. Starting from the body, I want the pepper to have a slight curve. Uh, using the selection tool, we can rotate it. After that, for the upper part of the pepper, which includes those small leaves and their branches, it looks more beautiful if the leaves are slightly upside down. Uh, the branch need to have more curve and I believe the cap should be bigger and so this part as well. For the lower part, a gentle curve works best. After removing any extra parts, I use the liquefied tool to enhance the pepper's curve. Then with a wrap option, I round out the body. Uh, okay, our rough sketch is done here, uh, so I'm going to resize it and move it to the right side of the page. Uh, next up is carrot. I'm going to start with its body, uh, making it smaller toward the bottom for a cuter look. Uh, then I am going to add the lines that are on the carrots. I don't know the names. Uh, curving them to the match the body shape. Uh, Alright, let's move on the leaves. I'm going to start with the leaf at the front, making it medium size and fully visible. Uh, the second leaf, which is a smaller, has a unique characteristic, and the largest leaf goes here. I rounded the edges of the leaves to give them a friendlier look. Uh, now let's focus on the carrot's body. I'm going to use the wrap tool in the selection menu. To make the middle part a bit bigger and rounder, I'm going to make the leaves slightly bigger and rounder. Uh, okay, our carrot sketch is complete. I'm going to place it in the middle of the page. And now let's move on to the next sketch, which is an eggplant, uh, starting from the bottom. I'm going to give it plenty of curves. Uh, I'm going to adjust the angle slightly and make the upper part thinner. Uh, its shape is quite simple. As for the leaves, I'm going to draw three lines on the body. Uh, the main leaf will be fully visible, while the leaves on the side will be partially visible. Once the leaves are done, I'm going to enhance the body's visibility uh, by using the lingo file tool I'm going to make the upper part of the body thinner and the lower part bigger and rounder. I'm going to also elongate the leaves slightly and adjust the overall angle of the figure. Then I'm going to make some final adjustment to the other vegetables and that's it. Now I proceed to the final sketch which is polishing and refining. At this stage, I'm going to enhance the detail as needed. I'm going to lower the opacity of the each layer to 40% and create a new layer to begin drawing on it. Okay, now I'm ready to paint it. Uh, let's begin with the pepper. Uh, first, I apply the base color. I create a new layer and place it beneath the sketch layer. Uh, next, I start drawing the body of pepper using a dark red color. Once the body is outlined, I fill it with color using the paint bucket tool. Uh, and now moving on the pepper scab section. 
I add a new layer and use dark green to draw that part. Now I want to add shadows. I select a red color, a darker than body's color, creating a new layer above the base color layer. I activate the clipping mask option uh, with soft brush. I begin applying shadows. I aim to create a slightly sunken appearance for this part of the pepper's body uh, while uh, also uh, darkening the surrendering area to emphasize its roundness. Now I want to add some light to accentuate the prominence of the body. I start by creating new layer and selecting a bright red color uh, beginning here, I refine this area a bit. Uh, pay attention to the brush movement as I apply it at the same angle as the shape. All right, uh, let's take a step back and see how it looks from distance. Uh, okay, I'm going to add a new layer and select the crimson color. Then I reduce the brush size and paint the area under the cap. Uh, I forget to activate this clipping mask. Uh, be sure to enable this option. Uh, I also increase the darkness of the dark part uh, and I reduce the layer's opacity to 50%. Now onto the light layer. I begin by creating highlight with a very bright red color. Uh, then I create a new layer and use white for a small highlight. Those lights will make the paper look very shiny. Onto the pepper's cap, I create a new layer and choose a light green color to add volume to the cap uh, and using a soft brush. I make the brush a little smaller to add light to the delicate part. Uh, and next, I create a new layer and place it under the main layer of leaves. Uh, by using a dark green color, I'm going to start adding volume to the underside of leaves. Uh, I want to emphasize the width of leaves. Uh, all right. Uh, now, time to make the highlight a bit clear. I'm going to create a new layer, uh, choose a white color and add some spotlights. I do the same for the body. I feel like I need to adjust the angle of the branch a bit. That looks better now. Okay, that's enough for now. Okay, time to paint the carrot. First, I decrease the darkness of carrot layer, then create a new layer below it, selecting an orange color and begin drawing the carrot's body. Uh, once the outline is complete, I fill it in using the paint bucket tool. Uh, next, I work on the lines, uh, choosing a darker color and painting them exactly as they appear. Alright, and now I'm going to focus on the leaves. Uh, be sure to separate the layer for each leaf. This simplifies the color process later on. Uh, next, I'm going to move the body's layer and activate alpha look. Here, I'm going to add lights and shadow using lighter and darker color. Uh, please pay attention to the brush movement. Okay, now I'm going to create a new layer to add some white highlight to the body. 
using a soft brush, I dry a light line on the carrot's body. Next, I'm going to darken the area around the body, moving the main body layer. I begin adding more shadows using a shade close to the brown. Remember, it is all about balancing the light and shadow to achieve the desired effect. Alright, now I'm happy with how it's looking. Now let's focus on the lines of the body. I'm going to disable the sketch layer to get a clear view. Then I activate alpha look for the lines layer. Using a bright orange color, I'm going to add light to the center of these lines. Additionally, I'm going to make the lower edge of the lines a bit lighter as well. I'm going to place this layer under the white light layer of the body. Then I refine these lines around the body a bit. Next, I'm going to add some white light both in the middle and along the edges. Uh, I set the opacity of this light to 50%. All right, that's it for now. Now let's move on the leaves, starting with the largest leaf. I activate the alpha look for this layer using a lighter color than the leaf color. I'm going to lighten the middle part of the leaf with a soft brush. Then I choose a darker color and darken the edges of the leaf. I'm going to repeat this step for other leaves as well. Uh, uh, okay, next I'm going to darken the area where the leaves are closer together. add some white light to the leaves. Uh, I believe we need to add more darkness around the leaves. Uh, that looks better now. All right, now let's move on the eggplant. Starting by creating new layer, then I'm going to choose a medium purple color and begin drawing the body. Following the same process as before, I paint the leaves and the top of the eggplant similarly. Next, I disable the sketch layer, then uh, create a new layer and activate the alpha look, choosing a dark purple color. Uh, I'm going to use a soft brush to create shadows on the lower part in the shape of circle and on the side of eggplant where the light doesn't reach it. Additionally, I add shadows under the leaves. I'm going to mix in some pink with the purple to give the eggplant a brighter appearance. Now onto the another new layer. I'm going to add some light to the body in a liner fashion. Then I focus on adding more light to the lower part of the eggplant in a circular pattern. All right, let's quickly work on the leaves. I'm going to create a new layer and activate the clipping mask using a dark green color and soft brush. I emphasize the lines uh, that separate the leaves and increase the amount of shadow in those areas. Then I highlight the stem and the middle of the leaves uh, with a light green color. Next, I add darker shadows to define the lines of the leaves. According to the angle of the light, 
I add light green. Uh, finally, I'm going to continue adjusting the light and shadow to enhance the overall appearance. I've made progress on almost three vegetables. I feel like plant could use some more light. So I work on that now. Uh, that looks better. Now I'm going to add some completely white highlight to the greens to make them appear shinier. And we're done! If you find this tutorial helpful, please show some love by liking and subscribing. Feel free to ask any question. Thank you for joining me on this painting journey. Until next time, happy painting!